And just being the devil's advocate, um, if one think tries to think with um, with the mind of, of a developed country um, such as Britain or the or, or part of the European Union, one might think, okay, uh, this could benefit the global south. Uh, it might put us in a slightly worse position. And after all, we are sending uh, billions in aid. Is that not enough? If countries could not do aid at all and do justice instead, I think the world would be much better off. You know, one of the, uh, the, the, the big demands of a number of countries in the global south is less aid and more justice, you know, less charity and more rule of law. Uh, you know, if you look at uh, uh, countries, I mean, I think there's a direct correlation, a, a correlation between the, the the rate of aid and 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 and, and the lack of, of 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 rule of law, including the lack of taxes, which are a, a kind of a cornerstone of of the social contract of the modern kind of post-Westphalian, even capitalist. Uh, I would say Republican, but in the case of Britain, that probably doesn't apply, uh, you know, uh, social contract. So, you know, aid is basically a palliative. A aid is basically something that's, that's there for the, for, yeah, also for the, the, the good conscience and in some cases the propaganda agenda of uh, a number of, of, of countries. Now, it's, in some cases it's been very important, of course, when there have been specific crises and we don't want to, to deny that that the aid, even the aid we've given, you know, and now also countries from the global south now are giving aid in specific cases, uh, has been has been important. But, but structurally speaking, if we're looking at uh, over the long period, and I would say most countries would agree that we need, uh, you know, more democracy, more justice, and less aid. You know, we would gladly uh, exchange aid for. Uh, a, a devolution of power to the General Assembly of the United Nations and having uh, less uh, veto power in, in the Security Council. You know those kind of privileges of a global elite. Uh, we would we would gladly uh, exchange them uh, for the whole the whole aid package, which actually uh, is part of the kind of you know, it's part of the uh, of the asymmetries in which we live in, and uh, and I would say even of the uh, blackmail in which we live in. You know. um, we the the world needs more justice and more democracy and less aid.